everyone so this is a general reading please take what message resonate and leave what doesn't we will see what comes through um not really focused on anything in particular so we will just see kind of what messages spirit has whether this is love career and um, general guidance we'll um we'll have a look right so let us begin for those of you who've sent me emails about personal readings i'm fully booked until the end of june so i've temporarily closed blo uh, closed bookings i will reopen them again soon but i kind of want a bit of a break first of all like i've been working really hard for the last couple of months so i'm just having a little bit of time for me once i've um once i've kind of finished all these readings i will also be bringing back recorded readings so i have only been doing live readings for like the last couple of months but i'm going to be bringing back the um 10 minute recorded readings so yeah we will um I'll, I'll let you know on instagram when those are available to be booked okay so let's see what messages spirit has for today you are loved so some of you are kind of like doubting love here some of you are doubting maybe whether you're worthy of love um or perhaps if someone from the past does still love you because there's a really strong message coming through that you are loved and i'm seeing this person watching your social media or looking at a photo of you i'm seeing um this person's trying to clear the air so this this person is trying to clear the air between you both but they haven't done it yet i feel this person's trying to build up the courage to approach you we have the empress here so this person straight away is seeing you in your power they're seeing you um in this place of like stability it feels like you've really opened your heart to them as well this person is connecting with you a lot in the 5d so you're receiving a lot of kind of like downloads um either about this person or from this person this person could very well be their higher self could be um communicating with you there's an element of luck around you at the moment so for those of you who are watching this who um I don't know, maybe been feeling a little bit down. Spirit is saying you, know, you are about to come into like um, a stream of abundance. I'm just seeing loads of like really lucky, fortunate things happening to you. This is related to your business. Um, it's also related to your family. For some reason, I'm seeing that your family is going to like prosper quite soon. Okay. Yeah, look, we have the three of wands with the Empress. So straight away, this confirms what I got at the start, where this is your, your divine counterpart. You know, the Empress and the Emperor here. So the Emperor is your divine counterpart. And with the three of wands, this person is waiting for the right time to approach you. And um, this person's waiting for the right opportunity. Their ships haven't come in. So this person is watching you. They know that they want to give you something, but it doesn't feel like it's the right time. I'm told that this person is still waiting for something to blossom. So this person's still waiting for something to kind of like come to fruition in their life before they can approach you. Um, I'm seeing like it, it's really windy and like this person's kind of like struggling to, to get the sale going. So this person doesn't really know how to get that momentum. They don't know how to get like the wind behind their sail, so to speak. This person doesn't really know, um, yeah, how, how to approach you or even what to approach you with. There's an element of them waiting for something to change, waiting for that like a half moment. Like they just don't don't really um, know how to, to come near you yet, I suppose. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. So I feel like you are gonna have options here. And you know what? I'm seeing that you're gonna already have options before this person comes in. Because if you look really closely in the back of this picture, there is this sailboat. And that is your divine counterpart trying to find a way to approach you. That's your divine counterpart finally getting the wind behind their sails and coming towards you. But you're already here with two options. You've already um, got like a decision to make. And then this person seems to be coming to the table. So I don't know if this is going to be like you're just balancing your career. Maybe you're going to have other people. Like maybe there's going to be two options already. And then the third person comes to the table. Or perhaps, you know, you're just busy focusing on your career, your finances, your life purpose. And then this person finds their way to approach you. It is going to catch you off guard. This person is coming um, from behind. So this is them um, 
yeah, like taking you by surprise here. This is them coming in with... I am getting like a big offer. This feels like a really big opportunity for the two of you to reconnect, but it's definitely um, taking you by surprise here. Yeah, look, we have the shadow side. So the thing is, this person is still facing their shadows. We've got the hermit as well. So this combination is saying that, you know, this person, the reason why it's not the right time, the reason why their ship hasn't come in to approach you is because they're still withdrawn. They're still facing their shadows. This person has not done healing. I'm going to be honest. You know, this person is still in, in hermit mode because they are facing their shadows. They are still working through their triggers, their fears, their ego. Like this person's ego has not dissolved just yet. So they're going through a lot of spiritual growth right now. They're finding a lot about themselves. This person is deep in reflection, deep in thought. And that is why they still don't know what it is they want to give you because they haven't get that, got their offer ready. This person doesn't know what it is that they can give you because, you know, they still are dealing with some shadow energy. And meanwhile, look, you're here with this nine of pentacles energy. I definitely feel like you're very focused on your career right now because I've got the Empress, the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles all in um, a line. So this is telling me you are really focused on your business. Perhaps you're trying to start your own business or maybe you're trying to juggle your work, like your like a new business with your current job situation. This Two of Pentacles could be two work situations which are really taking up your time um, because you're trying to get something off the ground. You're trying to um, start something from the beginning. Is nine of pentacles you focusing on your little luxuries you're focusing on your life you're very fertile right now to me i'm just showing you planting seeds and it's like you are creating so much abundance for yourself but you are definitely just planting seeds for the future right now and you're busy doing that i actually don't feel like you've got time for your divine counterpart right now it definitely feels like you've got other things on your plate other things that you know you need to focus on that you want to focus on here however i do see like a little message coming from this person i don't know if it's going to come from them or you're going to hear about them through someone else because i'm getting a little bird tweeting in my ear so it is like you're going to maybe see something or hear from them or hear about them there is something which is is coming i feel like this is a little test of your power to see how grounded you are um and it seems to me like you're going to smash this test because i'm not seeing it affecting you yeah look we have the knight of cups that flipped here so there is going to be something which comes um for some of you though i feel like this is going to be from someone else this is going to be from a water sign perhaps cancer scorpio or pisces or like someone with a lot of water in their chart or just a really emotional person this knight of cups is showing me that um for one i'm seeing that this person who's currently in their shadow space they are going to be emerging from that with an offer so if you're worried about whether your counterpart is ever going to come in with an offer, the answer is yes. They are just going to emerge from a shadow space to give you that. So give them a little bit of time here in order to, to face their shadow space. Um, however, for some of you, I am seeing that there's going to be another offer of love coming in. Someone who is ready to give you something quite stable. I want to look into this a little bit more in a moment. We have the moon. Okay, this could come around eclipse season. This could come over the next um, couple of weeks. You know, we've already had um, one eclipse. We're about to have two more. So I do feel like um, some of you are going to see an offer of love coming quite soon. You might also see this person coming out of hermit mode, even if it's just temporarily during eclipse season. The moon is a card of like feminine power to me. It is a card of fear and illusions. But in this deck to me, this is like a leader. You know, you are leading um, a whole pack behind you. You are in your power. You're kind of like guiding the way. So I don't know what you're doing right now, but it's working. So stay in your power. Um, keep attracting good things because they are coming to you really easily. You're about to experience, like I said, those lucky and fortunate events. So you're going to attract some really good opportunities and you are leading the way. You're kind of like guiding um, your counterpart home. However, I'm just seeing like three options here and I don't know 
I, I do feel like this is romantic. I don't know if it's going to be, for, well, I know it's not going to be for everyone, but for some of you, there's free options. This is free people. You know, she has free wolves behind her. And I said before, you know, it's like you're already juggling two and then the third comes to the table. So I don't know. Some of you are going to have like free romantic interests. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles, which one are you going to settle down with? I actually don't sense that you're looking for long-term commitment right now. You seem very focused on this Nine of Pentacles energy, on your Empress energy, where you're just in your power, trying to attract good things, trying to focus on your life purpose, on having fun, on your happiness. And for those of you who've kind of struggled with a connection for some time, it seems to me like you're really letting it go so that you can enjoy yourself. I really feel like this person's going to come out of hermit mode to clear the air between you both, though. Wrong. I really do feel like this person, yeah, is coming out of hermit mode in order to clear the air between you both so that you can have some kind of um, fresh start. Luna's fine. She's busy chewing a chew. Okay, I just want to get some work your light cards for today. How can you mother yourself? So yeah, this is you in your Empress energy. Okay, she's not happy. How can you look after yourself? You know, how are you nurturing yourself? Are you making enough time for you? That is the question um, whenever I see this star mother card. It is about looking after yourself. It's about, um, do you know what? Not trying to mother other people, you know, making sure that you're putting yourself first. If you're going to fight, you can go down. Um, making sure that you're putting yourself first, but you are looking after yourself here. Especially for those of you who in the past, you've always put other people first and being shown you need to break the chain. Yeah, we have awakening. So someone is going through a really big awakening here. This is like a whole new way of being. Um, that is why they're in hermit mode, you know, it's because they need to go through their spiritual awakening. Um, you might be experiencing some of the energetic upgrades around this as well. So it could very well be that you are ascending to a higher vibration. So maybe you're getting migraines, maybe you're feeling nauseous. Um, Maybe you're getting ringing in your ears. I know the last couple of weeks I've been getting awful migraines and like the, the ringing in my ears. So clearly something is going on and um, it does feel like it's affecting the collective generally. It does feel like it's affecting everyone. So just look after yourself if you are experiencing this. Okay, and then we have Lemuria. Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Yeah, something big is going down, guys. I really do feel like you're about to experience some wonderful opportunities. Something is shifting, something is happening, and you're about to experience really good abundance here. I sense that something is going down in your relationships quite soon. I want to use a couple of cards from a Tower of Sexual Magic to look into the relationship situation. hermit again we have the hermit out twice now so yeah what i'm seeing here is this person really is withdrawn i don't know it looks like you've got another option here it really does look like some of you are um either you're going to have a couple of admirers or you're already going to have someone when this person comes out of hermit mode maybe you've already got someone now and this person is finding out about it or when they return, they're going to find out about it. We'll have to see how this unfolds. We have the Queen of Wands. So yeah, you're really in your power right now. You're attracting some serious attention. Um, someone is completely vulnerable towards you. This is, I'm seeing like this person, whether it's your divine counterpart or someone else, they are prepared to be vulnerable with you. This person's prepared to open up. Um, I feel like they're going to be much more open than you are. I feel like this person is really going to express themselves quite clearly. Um, this is someone who's a really good communicator. I'm seeing that they will sit down with you. They will talk with you. They'll tell you how they're feeling, what they're experiencing. And then look, we have the two of pentacles, someone creeping up on you. 
someone is approaching you from behind uh, like and there's for sage as well with them wanting to clear the air so yeah this person is going to approach you to try and clear the air um you're not going to see this come in and even though you might have watched a thousand readings which all say oh this person's going to surprise you this person's going to come in when you least expect it so even though you might feel so prepared for this when it happens you're just not going to be when it happens you're going to be like oh shit like I was not expecting this right now. Can we make it work? That's what I just heard. Nine of cups, can we make it work? Who's asking you though? That's the question. I really do feel like um, for those of you who are single anyway, you're gonna have a couple of interests. I can't tell you who is, who's asking this. Maybe a few people are asking, can we make this work? I don't know. Can you though? That's the question. The fool. Oh, you're ready for a complete new beginning, guys. I love this. I love when the fool comes out. It's like a real fresh start. You know what, I'm also picking up the energy that this is someone who's just prepared to take a complete leap of faith towards you. And you know what, this person is actually ready. Whoever this is, this person is really ready to, to give you an offer to present you with something. I do feel like there's a little bit of fear holding them back. Um, and I'm also seeing that this person is going to have competition here. Yeah, we have the nine of wands. So there's a lot of indication that this person really does want to communicate with you. Um, let me just read the nine of wands in the guidebook. I'm really being guided towards it. When a situation is suspended or blocked by doubt, you must hurry to resolve it because it cannot go on forever. Right, so this is definitely the person who's been in hermit mode. However long they've been withdrawn, it could be like nine months here because I'm really like the number nine is coming through quite prominently. So this person is feel or could be since last September, which is nine months, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, so this person is really feeling like they need to communicate quite clearly here because this situation is being blocked, there's doubt, there's fear, um, and this person feels like they need to speak up before it's too late. I actually don't know if they're going to, um, if they're even going to have a conversation with you. It's kind of like they're just going to leap in here with this full energy and hope for the best. And what's funny is I just looked at the bottom of my Work Your Light deck and we have Leap. So this is someone, yeah, you go first, the universe will catch you. This is someone who is actually just wanting to leap straight into something with you, who's, it's like they've been, they've been blocking themselves out of fear for so long. And all of a sudden they're just gonna, they're just gonna dive straight in. Knave of Wands. I always get such a Cinderella vibe from this card. Um, I honestly feel like someone's going to come in at the last second. Queen of Wands. Um, Queen of Wands and the Knave of Wands, like all in one row. I really do feel like you are attracting your divine counterpart, but they're not in a really stable energy. They're, they're still a little bit uncertain, a little bit just not sure of themselves here. But this person, I honestly, I think they're coming at the last second. Someone is bringing an offer to the table when you've already got options. You're already balancing or juggling options, whether this is people, it could just be career. Um, but for those of you who are single, it's like, or even if you're in a relationship, like there's someone who's coming to the table at the last second. There we go. Eight of Swords. I really do feel like this is you and someone else and then this like person approaching in this corner someone's coming in to disrupt something and with the lovers the lovers is a choice and that is my nine cards so that's like the last card out the lovers you're gonna have a choice to make between two people there's a decision yeah death is on the bottom there is a decision is it over or or not 
So maybe this person might be approaching around September. I don't know though, I feel like eclipse season is like pushing something here. Right, I'm just going to get one Oracle of a Shadow and Light card for this person who's currently withdrawn in Hermit mode. A Clear Solution Lantern Fairy. Cancer season, guys. I just heard it so strongly, Cancer season. On the bottom, we're here. This is the arrival of something. Something big is shifting. Something big is changing. We're here. There's a clear solution. I feel like it's coming in cancer season. I think that's very well when this person is either finding their solution or they're coming out of hermit mode with something small. I just keep hearing that little bird tweeting and it's like there's going to be some kind of message or you're going to hear about this person. And ultimately for lovers, like you're going to have a decision to make. Is it over? That is the question. Is it over or not? Have you moved on? Right, let's get some messages from this person who's currently in hermit mode. I can't let go of the past. Yeah, look. I feel insecure. Let's just get one more. I am going through an awakening. Confirmation, guys, because look, we have the awakening card here. And I said before, you know, this person is in hermit mode, currently undergoing some kind of spiritual awakening. So, yeah, right now, this is where they're at. But ultimately, I'm just seeing a decision for you to make. There's a choice. Someone's coming in to dis disrupt something. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, Can't tell you when, but that is the story that we're getting today. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this here. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments what resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit subscribe as well to receive notifications for future uploads. And also follow me on Instagram at twinflameguidance555 because um, that is where I will let you guys know when I'm taking personal readings again.